Proify Not Control tutorial. All right, so you were telling me about the about the traction control, and 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 my biggest question to you, Jason, is what's the difference between the AEM where you have your background engine noise and uh, you draw a line over that background engine noise, and then everything above that is uh, is, is engine knock, that's how the AEM sees it. And I know personally that when I would do that, uh, as we're shifting hard and, and you're getting all, all kinds of, especially on the street, you can wheel hop or other noises would trigger the, the knock control. What does the Proify do to combat that? Well, for knock control, there's really a right way and a wrong way. Um, the way that some of them do it with you draw a line over a certain amount of noise and that you know filters things out, that's not really knock control, it's noise control as you just said. Um, to do true knock control, you have knock windows, you have knock energy, um, there, there's a time when knock occurs and, and then there's times when there's just noise in the background and then that in those situations with other computers it's always going to be pulling timing. So well, the way we do it, and you can see I've got a little demo set up for you, we have the oscilloscope and then we have a signal generator. So what we're doing is we're triggering the signal generator with the computer at a certain time within a window where not can occur. And what that's gonna do is you're gonna see it come up here when we turn this on. Okay, that's sending a frequency back into the computer. Uh, and we've got this set up for a super, which is about, uh, it's an 86 millimeter bore, so we see about 6.3 kilohertz uh, is the frequency where knock occurs. So you got your, you got a, an actual ECU of a, uh, of, of a Supra hooked up to your oscilloscope and then it's running off of this program right here in yeah. the laptop. Yes, I've, I've, I've got an override in here that we're running at 4000 RPM and you can see that you know the, the background energy is moving around. Right now it's pulling 20 degrees of timing out because it's seeing knock here. Okay, so when I turn that off, you see the timing goes away, it's not seeing knock. Everything's happy. So. Uh, you know, it's it's within that certain window of knock is when that's going to happen. We're just triggering off of cylinder one right now. If I wanted to move it between the cylinders, you'd see each cylinder, you know, respectively pulling timing and adding fuel, which is this number here. So you can see knock occurs, pulls timing out, adds fuel, turn it back off, goes back to normal. Right. Okay. So you've trained the uh, so you've trained the computer to to understand the background noise of your of your particular application. Yeah, it'll filter it out. Like here, for example, all right, um, like we just said, you have knock happening at the right time, it pulls timing. Well, what happens if you have frequency all the time, like valve train noise, for example, and it's, it's happening at whatever frequency, could be knock frequency, could be outside of the frequency, could be close to the frequency. Okay, so we'll send a continuous waveform in here. You see it's got knocked the whole time. We aren't seeing any retard because it's happening all the time. The computer knows that it's happening. It has those noise uh, points even when it's out of the knock window. So it knows that it can't be knocking. It says, okay, I'm gonna ignore that. So, and, and if an A&M read some kind of a noise like that, we would actually have to go into the computer and block it out. Otherwise, it would trigger the knock the whole time. Correct. Okay, so so that's very good that the Proify can do that. And, and as we can see here, that there's no, there's no, uh, uh, the knock's not triggering any, any, any timing retard. So let's say, now that's your normal noise, so let's say uh, we start banging gears or wheel hopping or creating other outside noises that would, uh, that would trick all the other computers that I'm familiar with. What, what does the Proify do? Okay, so let's put it back to a normal trigger burst system under the normal knock window. So let's say right now we're pulling 20 degrees of timing. We've 6.3 kilohertz is what the, the trigger point is. You can see it there, 6.3 kilohertz. Okay, so that's the normal trigger point. That's the frequency. So let's say you've got other external noises coming in that aren't happening at knock frequency, but they happen to come in on occasion where the knock window is. Okay, so let's change our frequency period to... Uh, let's say one kilohertz. Okay, now you see knock went away. We still got a signal at the right knock time, but it's at the wrong frequency. So now it just put everything back to normal. Okay, so it's going to ignore those outside frequencies. So it has to be knock frequency, has to happen at the knock window, 
and it can't be a continuous frequency going across the board. Now let's say you have the right frequency, 6.3, you know, give or take, you know, it's going to be around that frequency, and it's got a filter that's kind of a bubble that says, okay, if it's at this frequency, consider it, you know, it's right on the so money. Now, so now we have a noise that's close in sound or frequency to an actual knock, but it's not a knock. Right. So what, what, how will the Proify distinguish that? Okay, right now I'm forcing the signal generator to generate a knock signal uh, within the knock window so that we're getting the timing retard. If I change that and send the signal outside of the knock window, you'll see that the, the spark retard goes away. Let's make this number at a different point. See, now it's going away and we have the same signal, just not happening within the knock window.